Well, actually, in 1924, we started life as an audio company making loudspeakers and loudspeaker boxes, and one of the primary customers was the BBC. And today, we're, we're still in the professional audio business, so for a company which is 94 years old, we're in the same industry making the same products as we did 94 years ago, which is probably unique for any company or any industry. The bulk of our business is selling to uh, pro audio OEMs. And really for the OEM, what they want from a transducer supplier is, is really a neutral sound. So what we do is develop products with a very neutral sound with minimal distortion. And then it's really the, the box builder, the system builder, to tune their boxes and their products to any particular sound. When I joined the business 14 years ago, Less than 5% of our products were pro audio transducers, so it was a very, very small part of our business, and the bulk of our business was, was guitar speakers. 14 years later, we maintained our market share of guitar speakers, but today that's only a third of our business. Two-thirds of our business are pro audio transducers. Without doubt, collectibles are a very, very important uh, revenue stream and, and we, we anticipate that will grow every year for the next five to six years. The collectible drivers we, we design, which have been really successful, have the, the, have the single magnet motor. So the old style uh, um, coaxials basically take a compression driver and put it on the back of a woofer, which was fine, but it was very, very deep. But we have this common motor magnet design, uh, w which makes the product very, very um, compact and very successful. I would say our major investments are in software tools. As the market is a very dynamic market and it wishes new designs to come through very, very quickly, the, the old school way of prototyping products just takes too long. So we spend a lot of time, money and effort in developing software such that we can develop, design products very, very efficiently and take those products straight to production with minimal prototyping. With Celestion, we have two factories. We have one here in the UK and we have one, our own factory in China. They're both wholly owned by Celestion, so if you see Celestion on any product, it's made by us. We don't relabel product. And in terms of revenue, the UK factory equates to about 12% of our revenue and our China factory is about 88% of our revenue. Our expense, if you have high volume products, make them in Asia, because also that's where the factories are based as well. But if you have low volume, high tech products, make those in Europe. So if we look at our product spread in general, high volume tends to be in China and the low volume specialist product tends to be in our UK factory. If I think back 12 years ago, we only had two compression drivers in our, in our product category. And now we must have over 30 to 40 different compression driver platforms. Currently we, we make in excess of 1,000 compression drivers per day. So again, compression drivers have been very successful for us. The reason we like compression drivers is they're very difficult to make. And difficult is our friend. Because the reason we've been successful is that our products is very, very consistent. About a year ago, we launched a product called the Axi Periodic. The Axi Periodic is a full range compression driver that we spent two years developing. In fact, it took us two years to write the software so we can make the product. And the advantage of this Axi Periodic compression driver is it's a full range compression driver. So it does not require the use of a crossover in the vocal range. And, and that technology has proven to be very successful. We've launched one product, but we tend to take that technology and create a family of products moving forward. We've shown this to many industry legends and, and, and the feedback has been very, very, very positive and it's such that all of the legends we've sampled it to are now designing a product around the Axie Periodic. Yeah, yes and no. Um, we, our job is really to provide transducers to the system builders and it's really the system builders which create the tone of, of the system. So they bring together the, the transducer, the box and the electronics to create the tone. So in, in their part of their role, there's a lot of art. Our role is mainly scientific. We need to supply a neutrally sounding transducer. Mm -hmm.